Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode. Hopefully going to be starting at year five in the simulation if we can trade away Patrick Marlowe for the second liner. So thank you guys for all the suggestions that you guys were leaving in the last video. We're going to go uh, to do that right now, get priority out of the way, and see if we can make the trades with uh, some teams. Now, let's go to each individual team that we were planning on trading uh, Patrick Marlowe first. But actually, I should note something first. So I saved the game, right? So I saved the game and went back into uh, re to obviously record today. And apparently the player roles, once again, like I said before, they adjusted. So Kane, Johansson, Hodges, and Marl, they're all still first liners. Chris Stone, Backlund are still second liners. Nothing to worry about there. Number one, Sprong was a depth forward. Yeah, he's not a depth forward anymore. He is a third line scorer. So there's that. Atkinson it will definitely be out of here. So look at all the third liners now that we have on this team. Sprung, Dubinsky, Anisimov, Atkinson, McDavid, Terrell, and Carroll. Even Carroll's considered a third line checker. So with that being said, here's how I have envisioned my lines for right now. So I have Ryan Johansson, center, Hodgson on left, Kane on right. That's that's done and did. Second line, we're going to have Backlund center, Christo on the right, second liner on the left. Third line now, I'm thinking Connor McDavid in the center, Daniel Sprung on the right, and then we can either put, we could put Austin Carroll on the third line, left wing spot, but you know what, he's actually all not too bad if you ask me, he's got, he's a really good defensive player on the third line, discipline, yeah, he takes a lot of penalties, but he could be that kind of rough and tough player on that third line that you need. Or we could throw him back down there on the fourth line once again. Or you could put Dubinsky on the third line to give yourself a nice two-way forward there. Because McDavid, like I said, doesn't have the best face-offs, and we could still put somebody there if we needed to. But we have a lot of options here. If if you're, I'm looking at odd man outs here, Atkinson has to go because D Daniel Sprong is definitely going to take his place. So Atkinson will get traded. Um, Anisimov could be probably take Anisimov, Terrell. One of those guys has to go. It either has to be Dana Terrell or Artem Anisimov. One of them ha definitely has to go. Artem probably would be the odd man out there because, well, he's making less, but I would have to probably compare those two and see which one of them goes. I'm still going to probably keep Dubinsky for like a fourth line role, which is actually good. He's a solid penalty killer. I'll probably use him on the penalty kill. Tambellini is also considered a fourth liner, so that's nothing to be worried about. He'll be played down there, but Sprung. Jumped up to a third liner, so now we have uh, some more decisions we have to make. But let's worry about the uh, Patrick Marlowe situation first. And, and, and. Let's go through those teams that you guys were suggesting. Now, we were saying that Tyler Toffoli would have been a very good choice for, uh, definitely, for trading Patrick Marlowe away. We got a little bit of an issue with that. Now, if I wanted to give up Patrick Marlowe here, LA is very low under cap, right? So... If I would have to get L.A. under cap, I would need to take back, I believe, Jeff Schultz, which will definitely um, put them under the cap. Now, obviously that won't go through because I would need to put in uh, something else. But the problem with that is if I needed to put somebody else in there player-wise, it's kind of going to put L.A. under the cap. So if I want, didn't, didn't want to put them under the cap, I would either have to put in one of three people that would be Roland McCowan or McEwen, Oliver Bjorkstrand, or Bryson Martin. Because, see, Bryson Martin will put it through, but I still think that's way... That might still be a little bit too low to get that through. I could put McCowan in there, and I probably think that would go through. Marlowe and McCowan. McCowan has Toffoli uh, covered a good bit, and then Marlowe has Schultz covered a good bit. So I think Marlowe and McCowan could definitely take Toffoli. Maybe even... Uh, but out of those guys, I probably would trade McCowan because Martin's already 78 overall and 21 years old, while McCowan is 68 and 21. McCowan's taken a very long time to progress. Well, guys like McCowan and uh, Honka and uh, what's his, uh, what's the other defenseman I have down there? Uh, Schuster, Erickson, DeKaiser, all those kind of guys are getting up there as well. Even Jansen's getting has progressed uh, much quicker than. McCowan has. So I'm I could do that. I don't know if you guys would be happy about giving away McCowan because 
Like I said, he is a good, solid defenseman, but if we do want to get a guy like Tyler Toffoli, we have to take back Jeff Schultz because that's the only reason that's going to um, that's going to take Cap away. I'll probably just send him down to the minors, or I actually would even be fine with him if, him, he, if he went to waivers. So, honestly, I wouldn't be fine about that. But that probably is my only method of trading players away here to get what I want. Like I guess I get my second-line uh, winger to play with... Backland and Christo, and I do lose a. Well, I don't really need Patrick Marleau, so LA gets another first liner. They get a nice, solid defensive prospect while they're losing that top six guy as well. So, honestly, this is kind of the only thing that could go through with this. This is the guy that you guys wanted, so I think I have to sacrifice it to make it go through. So, here we go. We'll throw in some extra stuff as well. I'm going to keep my first, throw in my four, throw in my fifth. Throw in my sixth. Actually, I'll get rid of some of the guys I don't even have signed because I think they're uh, even better than even better than draft picks. So we can go in. We can throw in Bergfist. We can throw in Jerdev, and we can keep Levine in there. Or fourth. Okay. So let's see if this goes through. Patrick Marlowe, Roland, and Roland McGowan. A fourth. A couple of prospects in there for Tyler Toffoli. And Jeff Schultz from the LA Kings. Well, let me see if there's anything else I can maybe add into this deal to Baby Steel. Uh, let's see, all skaters. Let's see if there's anything else to Foley Zykov. Rantanen. Nope. Tanner Pearson. Forbert. D'Angelo Clifford. Linda Vey. McNabb. Jilson. Uh, who's this guy? Jilson. Christian, Kristen Jilson, Yilson, he's a super sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw him in there. Why not? I can maybe steal him up. And I think that's it. All right, so I'll just throw that guy in there because he has like little to nothing trade value. So, Marlo McCowan and a four, or Mullen, bro, yeah, Marlo McCowan a fourth for Toffoli Schultz. And Christian Yielsen, will this go through? Yes, it did. There's not too much to deliberate on this deal. I think the LA fans will think we came out ahead here. Okay, well, there you go. We get Tyler Toffoli. LA gets a solid defensive prospect in Roland McCowan as well. And uh, Schultz, yeah, this this player we need to go waivers to not killing as your pro roster. Yeah, I'm not going to use Jeff Schultz. I'm honestly, I'm fine with letting him go to waivers. So, uh, Jeff Schultz, you can go to waivers. And, yep, Jeff Schultz was claimed by another team. So, we got rid of that. Got rid of that. Somebody claimed him off waivers. Christian Nielsen, we can send him to the minors. And Daniel Sprung can get called up. Uh, why not? Is currently at a full 42 players. So, I need to send somebody else down again. Reichel. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll call up uh, Sprung. I can't swap him with Reichel, right? Yeah, I can't do that. Um, okay, so yeah, all right. So we can just do best lines. So we got Marlo out of here. Toffoli is now part of the team. Schultz is also gone. Probably could have helped out the team in a way, but eh, not really. All honesty, he's a top six guy. He's a little bit older. Some other team can uh, claim him off his hands, so that's good. All right, now we can know we can trade away some of the third line players. Because we have uh, Sprong coming up, so we know Cam Atkinson can go. And now I have to make a decision as well on, uh, what's his face? And we also got this guy too, uh, Christian Yielsen too, from uh, LA. A super sweet sniper who also looks like another solid sniper coming up. 76 and he's 21, three and a half red stars. It looks pretty dang solid. So, uh, we know we're going to get great Cam Atkinson. Now we have to figure out Anisimov. Or Dana Terrell, because I want to keep Dubinsky still. So we need to make a decision here. Dana Terrell or Artem Anisimov. All right, so let's check them both out. Dana Terrell got mid-80s for his shot. Uh, he's a pretty good deeker, so mid-80s for puck moving skills. Senses category is at three stars. Skating is decently speed. Not that physical, but a, a very good defensive category at 90, 89, 88. Only 72 face-offs, but solid, solid defensive player for this team. Okay, and if we compare him to Artem Anisimov, we have uh, pretty much the same shooting category. Likewise in puck skills. Uh, senses, all the same thing. Skating, uh, physical, and 
not as good defensively as Terrell. Three better faceoffs. I still think Dan Terrell is the better option here than Artem and Isimov. So, Artem, sorry, bud. You're going to have to go on the block as well. Like I said, we're just getting rid of players. Got young guys coming up when we just don't need these these older players anymore. We're just going to go younger, get rid of some guys from this uh, Stanley Cup winning team and see if teams are going to be interested in them. All right, so we got Atkinson and Nisimov moving out, which leaves us with, uh, for third-line duties, that'll leave us with, 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 let me just do overalls for a minute. Actually, better if I do rolls. That'll leave us for rolls for the third line with, so now we have Kane, Johansson, Hodgson, Toffoli, Christo, Backlund. That'll leave us with Sprung on the left, McDavid at center, and then either Austin Carroll, Dubinsky, or Terrell on the on the left. And then fourth will be uh, Tambellini. Could be Carroll, could be Dubinsky, could be Terrell. Whatever. We have enough players, but we just need to get rid of those guys. So I think Reichel and, uh, you know what, I think I can trade Schuster as well. I'll try sending Schuster down because I don't necessarily think somebody might claim Schuster off waivers. I have to check what his... Uh, thing is, he's a Schuster is a top six now, so uh, I think we can maybe trade Andre Schuster as well in this deal because I don't think we'll need him. He's 26, 81. I'd rather go with DeKaiser and Erickson rather than Schuster there, so we could trade away Schuster as well. And I honestly think we are good to go. Let's double check in here. Uh, yeah, I think we're. Pretty solid to go, and then goaltending. Yeah, okay, see, there's my freaking, uh, there's my updated things again. So, Elite and Starter, Dansk, there you go. So, it did upgrade the player roles again. Halverson, uh, both of those guys are considered backups as well. So, we have an Elite goaltender and a starting goaltender in uh, Columbus. So, we can roll with that. That's fine. Halverson or T.O. are both considered backups, but they'll get a minor league starters. Okay, so all three of these guys are going out of here. Let's see if there's any – well, there are going to be a bunch of teams that are probably interested in all of them. All right, so Boston, I'd rather not. Buffalo, I'd rather not. Cal uh, Carolina, no. I need a team with salary, too. So Dallas can take – Dallas wants a Nismov and Schuster. Uh, Edmonton wants all three, but they have zero cap. Florida wants all three. Minnesota, no cap. Montreal, no cap. Well, they can. Jersey, uh, Philadelphia has a lot. Western Conference team with some caps. San Jose, I would want a team that maybe wants all three. Vancouver, Washington, Winnipeg. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's send them to Dallas. Let's see what Dallas has for us. I'm fine with either like a draft pick or probably a prospect. Uh, maybe like a solid, uh, another good defensive prospect who's pretty young. So we'll see what, what they have here. Uh, relatively young. This guy looks Dalton uh, Tyshkov. I'm not even sure who that is. He's 22-63. I'd rather want a pretty dang young player. With a really good potential. Alright, so we'll just do the Western Conference teams that actually could take all three of these guys. Or at least two of them. Uh, Calgary. Let's see what they have. Blad, Monahan, Barchi. How good are these guys' trade values as well? Eh, it's pretty solid. You can probably get a very good, decent prospect for this. Uh, there's Sedin. Uh, let's see. Kylington, Klimchuk, Verana, Lazar. Yeah, we, we already checked out Calgary's prospects. They're not the greatest. Uh, Chicago, no cap. Detroit's East, Florida, Minnesota, Montreal, Jersey, Rangers, Ottawa, Philadelphia, Phoenix. Let's see what San Jose has. Uh, Malak. Ooh, wow, who is this guy? Nicholas Malak, 85 overall, two-way defenseman. He's, I think, top four. Yeah, he's top four, not top two. Um, Hurdle, Mueller, Nieto. I want a young guy with some good potential. Some of those Toronto. Let's see what Vancouver has. 
Uh, they still have Nylander. And see, he still didn't get better, guys. 67 overall, 21 years old. He's taking his good time. Uh, Shinkara, Cassian, Horvat. Cook, Cook, Gautier, Jensen, Gaunts. We could probably just... Maybe we can get some first-round picks for these guys. Let's everybody's first round picks looking like this year. Yeah, some first the first round picks for these teams aren't aren't looking too uh too hot. So Schuster. We could probably get a first for Atkinson and Nisimov, so let me take these off. Alright, so we'll do Atkinson first. A Western Conference team that might want them. That has the calf room to take them. So, Dallas, would you guys give me a first? No, you're not going to be a good team, apparently. Florida has Nashville. They're really not going to be a good team, apparently. Minnesota can take them, but they're valu valuing their first. A lot of the teams are valu valuing their firsts very highly right now. Philadelphia, Phoenix, Pittsburgh. I think Anaheim, Tampa Bay, Vancouver. I think Anaheim was one of the only teams that like was not. Yeah, they're not very valuing their first overall pick this year very much at all. So, did they want Anisimov or they want Schuster? Um, I don't think Schuster would get me a first. Uh, definitely not. Schuster would definitely would not give me a first, but I think one of the other players would. Let's see, we can give away Atkinson to the Bruins, but they're valuing their first, right? Yeah, all these teams are valuing their first overall picks, which is kind of crazy, but... Alright, let me go to Anaheim. Atkinson, you can go to the Ducks for a first round pick. Yeah, that definitely would. A first and a second. All right, so a first and a second from Anaheim for Cam Atkinson. Uh, no, take off the second. All right, Atkinson for a first straight up. There you go. There's not too much to deliberate. Okay, so Atkinson's out. Get another first from the Anaheim Ducks. Like I said, we're just dishing players off. And who else was it? It was Anisimov. Artem Anisimov can go, and we can find another team for uh, this Dalton guy. Looks pretty interesting. 19 years old, uh, 73 overall center forward, Jaden Dalton. Uh, wasn't he the number one over? Yeah, he was the sixth. I remember his name popping up. Jaden Dalton. Yeah, he was that guy who was in the draft with. Um, I forget who it was. But he actually didn't turn out too bad. Uh, Nerland's done well? <laughs> Doubt it. Um, Faxa, I think he's taking his sweet old time as well. Radic Faxa. All right, let's package together Anisimov and Schuster together. We know, well, Schuster's a top six, so somebody will probably claim him off waivers. Yeah, so I probably should trade him. Okay, there's a lot of teams that want both of these guys. Florida, no, I'd rather send him to the West where he can't bother me. I can maybe take him off Minnesota if there's a prospect of some sort. No, I don't think so. They don't have the room. Montreal, Nashville, no. Jersey. Uh, the Islanders, no. Rangers, Ottawa, Philly. I really think these two players would really just benefit the Flyers in any sort of way because I know they're pretty shit. Hayden Flurry. Can maybe pick up Hayden Flurry or Gold Star defenseman. Hag. Profit. Uh, let me just go to all things. Alright, we're going to start simulating here and soon. Don't worry, it's going to be another long ass video. Uh, so Clark, Shen, no. Benson. Benson, Couturier, DeCall. Flurry. Uh, Lawton, Hosang, Straka. I'd rather not pick up Straka, Profit. All right, let's get some prospects here. Let's get, can we maybe get Hayden Flurry? I might be able to grab Hayden Flurry from them. 
All right, let's see if I can do that. Because he's, he's pretty solid. He's four gold star defenseman. Still only 67, but uh, solid two-way defender. Just getting some prospects here, just like I said. We're dishing off players. So let me see. Anisimov and Schuster for Hayden Flurry. Would that maybe go through? Uh, no. Scott Lawton, no. I know I could grab this profit guy. No, let's not. San Jose again. Let me check these guys one more time. Nick Cousins. I'd rather get a really, really young guy. St. Louis, no. Vancouver. Islander, Shinkarook. Cassian, Gauthier. Cook. Maybe Cook Cook. Slater Cook Cook, 71. Two way. Uh, I still want to fill up the defensive prospects a little bit. Because I got rid of McCowan, so I need somebody back for these guys, defensemen. Let's see. Buffalo. Uh, Grigorenko, Richie, Siebenhaller. Gergensen's Roy, Carrier, Pissick, uh, Zaka, Rasmus Ristolainen, maybe? He's a minor league top two. Uh, there's Weinberg, Duke Hartnell, Felino, Prosler. Yeah, I need a, I need a solid... I need a solid prospect in return for this, though. He needs to be pretty good. Who can take up McCowan's spot? Um, just looking for teams that have salary cap room to make this happen too. Phoenix, they should be full of defensive prospects. Gormley, Ekman, Larson, Sam Bennett, maybe. Uh, Max Domi, Marner, Connor Murphy, Lauren Dolphin, Levy, Samuelson, no. Uh, Jersey, what do you guys got? Larson, Damon Severson, he's a minor league top four, 23. Uh, John Merrill, Jelena. Josephson, Thomas, who's this Thomas guy? Uh, Asipov. Uh, Pankowitz, he's 21, top six. Saunders. Yeah, I just need to find somebody who I'm looking for. Uh, Stefan Mateau? Rupert? Boucher? Erbaum? Schmidt? Nielsen? Alright, how about we grab up... No. Na Nashville won both, right? Yeah, but they don't have cap. Montreal? Galchenyuk? Vertinen? LeBlanc, will you throw her? Dalton Thrower, maybe? You can maybe pick up Dalton Thrower and uh, and this guy, uh, Smol Smolinski. Uh, maybe Thrower, no. How about Thrower and, how about Smolinski and a forward prospect as well? So Smolinski, who is 6221, and how about McCarron? So about that? Anisimov and Schuster for McCarron and Smolinski from the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, how about we do that? Uh, if, we, if we accept the deal, we have to put David DeHarnay on waivers, taking that into account. Okay, so they would have to put David DeHarnay off waivers. Well, can I take him off your hands? Wouldn't that be a little bit better? You could throw in David DeArnay in there, and I could take it off your hands. Uh, yep. No. Okay. Take DeArnay off, and anything else? God damn. Like it's really hard just to try to trade these guys. I'm not. I know I'm not the best person at trading. You guys can clearly tell this from this, from this series so far. Florida. Uh, did I already check Florida? I don't think I did. 
Uh, Mastil, Kulikov. Gabranson, Petrovic? No. Uh, Tenorti, Howden, Shore, Pieri. Uh, who's this guy? 19 years old. Kostinen, Trocek, Bjugstad, Klingberg. They don't have any defensive prospects. All their good, def all their defensive prospects are good already. Like Howden, Tenorti, Petrovic, Gabranson, Kulikov. Uh, the only person I could probably take is, uh, yeah, there's nothing really I could take from Florida. All honesty, Detroit, traded with these guys before, uh, Mills, who's this Mills guy? Mills, he's probably way too much to grab. Tatar, uh, Ryan Sproul, 24, Ferraro. I could get like a bunch of these like just no, no name guys. So let's get Dermot because he actually got some value to him. Dermot and we'll grab up another uh, player here. Riley Sheehan maybe. No, he's a fourth. Polkinen and Sproul. Young. How about Jaffrey? Jaffrey and Dermot for Inesimov and Schuster. No. Uh... I want, I'll take, I want Dermot, I'll take off Jaffrey, let's get another just uh, three and a half star prospect somewhere in here. Firk. Yeah, I'll grab a Firk. Alright, so a nice amount of Schuster for Dermot and Firk. There we go. We believe this transaction will contribute to our success here in Detroit. There we go. More prospects. Picks would have been nice, but whatever. Alright, so now we can call Daniel Sprung up. And finally, I think we're done here. Let's just make sure everybody is where they need to be. So goaltenders, Bobrowski, Dansk, Halverson, Ortio. Good. Defensemen. We don't need a Dermot. Okay, so we have Murray, Savard, Johnson, Honka. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of top fours now. So Murray, Savard, Johnson, Honka, Erickson, and DeKaiser. Good. Down there, we got all them people. Good. And then forwards. We have one, two, uh, let me just make sure here. Firk. Oh, my God. All these waivers. God damn it. <laughs> Waver my anus. So, I know I don't care. Oh, no one claimed him. Good. Did anyone claim Firk? No, no one claimed Firk. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, so thirteen. So Tampolini plays. I'm not going to mess with Reichel because I feel like somebody's going to claim him. There we go. We have everybody up that we need to have. $10.4 million worth of salary cap room. Now we can finally start editing the lines and maybe possibly get some, get some simulating done. I am going to get simulating done. Because I'd rather not have a 30-minute video with no simulating, even if it's only like the first month still. Okay, so best lines, best lines. We're going to scratch Kirby Reichel here. And we're going to play Connor McDavid. Okay, so we want Ryan Johansson, Patrick Kane, Cody Hodgson, Backlund, Toffoli. Toffoli right-handed. Yep, he could play there. And Christo. Yep. Okay, and then we want McDavid. Uh, Sprung. And I guess we'll play Carroll. And then Dubinsky, Terrell, and Tambellini. No, Tambellini has some pretty solid uh, stats as well. We'll put Tambellini on the left. Terrell, Dubinsky, and Tambellini. All right, so there we go. We're going to have a grinder on the third line. I'm actually fine with that. If something doesn't go right, we can move up a guy like Dubinsky and move Carroll back down if the third line is really not clicking all too well. But there we go. There's our lineup for offense, defense. Murray, they want Savard up there. That's fine. Murray, Savard, Johnson, Honka, DeKaiser, Erickson. All right, let's load up this power play now. Uh, Johansson, Kane, and Sprong. Okay. And then Hodgson, Christo, and Toffoli. Savard, Honka, Murray, Johnson. Man, our power play is stacked. As hell. That's the best lineup, too, for a power play, so I'll keep it. All right. We'll keep that there. Uh, John, Johansson, Kane, Hodgson, and Sprung. They want Sprung on the power play, I guess. It's probably just because of his shot. Maybe we can put Toffoli up there instead. Hold on. Toffoli. Yeah, let me put Toffoli there instead of Sprung. 
I'll put to I'll put Sprong up there on the first. For that, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll leave Sprong up there. Chris Dale, Hodgson, Tafoli down there as well. Okay, so four man power play there. Uh, penalty kill, we want Terrell. They want Terrell, Austin Carroll, Hodgson, and Tambly. I'm going to take Hodgson now. I'm going to put Dubes in there. Dubes ha still has probably better face offs than Tambolini does, yeah. So we can put Dan Terrell and Austin Carroll, I guess. Uh, yeah, Austin Carroll. And then Brandon Dubinsky and Adam Tambolini. Murray Honka. Yep. Uh, Johnson and Erickson. Yeah, I guess Tim Erickson, just because of his defense awareness. And we know Julius Hunk is a good defensive category. Yep, so that's fine with me. Three-man penalty kill, Terrell and DeBrand Dubinsky. Four-on-four, four, Johansson, Kane, Hudson, Christo, Backlund, and Toffoli. Extra attackers are there. Good goaltender, Bobrovsky, Dansk, shootout, Kane, Sprung, Hodgson, Johansson, Christo. So we're not using Backlund on the, on, a penalty, on the power play at all. We have Ryan Johansson, Patrick Kane, Daniel Sprung, and then Christo Hodgson to Foley. So Backlund's not going to get any power play time, so all of his points are only going to be coming from that second line. So that's something to note there. He might have a little bit less time, but we know we have our better power play people here. We have a lot of really good centers playing wings on this team, and we have a lot of snipers as well. So Backlund's only point totals are going to come from 5-on-5, uh, five five, which is good because he has two really good snipers on beside him. So... Uh, that's pretty good. All right, so now Springfield. Let's do best lines on Springfield. Uh, let's see. So Yilson, Christian Yilson. Yeah, I want this guy here. Jenner and Godobin, uh, Ferk, Barbashev, Bjorkstrand, Sakaris, Boyce, El Hardy, uh, Yalmark, Juju, and Kivaranta. Let's see who's sitting. Uh, Guyet. Yeah, we can play Guyet instead of Juju. Yeah, we can sit Juju. Juju. Play Guyet. Uh, let's see, anybody else sitting? Jujuri, they're good. Uh, Sakaris is the only guy who's playing there. Right wings, yep, all the right wings are playing. And then defensemen, we just need to play uh, Dermot instead of somebody else, probably Prout. Yeah. All right, so they're all good to go. So, Yilson, Jenner, Dobin, Ferk, Barbashev, Bjorkstrand, Sakaris, Boyce, Elardi, Kivaranta, Guyet, and Yamark. Okay, defense. Uh, Bryson Martin and Dalton Prout, Weatherspoon, Ellis, Jansen, and Urban. Don't think I need to play Urban. No, I'm not going to play Urban. I'm going to scratch Urban, and we're going to play uh, Dermot. All right, so Martin. So who's another offensive guy I need? Uh, Martin. You could probably put Ellis or Jansen. Ellis or Jansen. Uh, they're both in there. Uh, I'll put Weatherspoon in there. Why not? Weatherspoon. I'll just leave the power play lines the way they have them. Weatherspoon. So Jenner, Boyce, uh, centers. Jenner, Boyce, Gudobin's playing penalty kill, and how good is this guy's defensive category? Yeah, we can maybe do it. He's a two-way forward. We'll put Guyet in there. Uh, Boyce, yeah, that's fine. Jenner, yep. And then that's uh, Dermot. Extra attacker, Jenner Godobin. We want Halverson in there. And then shootouts are fine. Offense, good. Okay, we're good. So 33 minutes have gone by on this recording so far. Still no simulating. Uh, check the rules out. I just want to make sure everything's good. I do think injuries are turned off. I believe I turned them off. Yep, injuries are off. And probably rotate goalies are probably still on. Just want to double check it again. Assistant coach Rotate goalies are on. All right, so we can get through the first month here. We can get through the first month of the simulating here with this team. So we can go a couple games here. Yeah, we can do the first month, see how we do. All right, so we'll go up to the Washington Capitals game. Uh, Eric Nystrom is being placed on waivers. No, thank you. And we're good to go. So team got a hell of a lot younger, got rid of some of the mid old like older 20 year old players so we can definitely see uh, how this team is going to so Toffoli's obviously leading our team in points because he had uh he had two points already on LA when he traded for him but you can obviously see how this team is going to go I I think we're going to be a really really good team this year I, they might surprise me uh, I mean Crystal already has four goals in three games to fully four assists but we lost that game four nothing against Buffalo but like I said we'll have to see about the stats remember 
Uh, Cody Conwick, or Cowick, uh, 28 two-way forward. Ah, eh, nah, I don't need him. So there's another nice little win there. But, yeah, I, I really think uh, the young guys are really going to do well this year. Like I said, our power play our lines are pretty stacked. I'm, I'm kind of uh, – I'm kind of sad that I can't put guys like Backlund and McDavid on the uh, power play. But they'll obviously grow to get there. So defenseman uh, for six weeks. Actually, no. Is there a better first? U.S. first. Swiss and Liga. Elite League. Russia. Rest of the world. WHL. Yeah, I'll do the OHL still. Actually, no. WHL. They had some more first rounders there. Okay, update the changes there. Okay, and yeah, we'll go there. All right, so uh, four and one to start, not bad. Uh, it's definitely, I really think we're going to get a lot of players getting depth points this year. So as long as people can just turn up, score goals, uh, let our goal scorers score the goals that they need to get, we should be a pretty solid team this year. It's not going to be like a 60-win season, but I still probably think close to a high 50-win uh, season again would be pretty solid for us to do that. All right, so 4-3. and three, uh, Not Once again, regulation losses are going to be something that probably might be pissing me off again this year. As, as long as they're not one goal regulation losses, I don't really care about it, but see how we do here. So uh, there you go, 6-3. and three. Christo's leading at 6 goals. Hodgson, 7 assists. Honka plus minus, Carroll 27 penalty minutes. The third line's gonna be interesting with McDavid, Sprong, and uh and uh Carroll there. I don't know if Carroll's gonna be playing if we might have to move him up and down with Dubinsky or something like that. We'll have to see, but we will uh we'll have to see how the third how the point totals are gonna be after these first two months. Alright, so there you go. Two wins there against Carolina. Eight to four eight eight and four now. Kane now has the goal scoring lead. We have a, probably a lot of guys scoring goals. All right, so the Islanders, if there's another 3-1 to one win, very nicely done. Kane with eight goals, uh, Hodgson with 10 assists. Devils, 5-2 uh, to two loss there. Home and home with the Flyers up next. Okay, 6-7-1 and one Philly. 2-1 uh, to one loss. There we go again with the one-goal regulation losses. Yeah, don't like those one-goal regulation losses again, but whatever. 10-6, and 2-0. Uh, Christo with nine goals. Hodgson has 12 apples. I know he has a fair amount of goals as well. All right, so Western Conference road trip here. 40-minute GM mode, so that's probably going to be uh, good for you guys. All right, so there's another regula regulation loss there. I don't think Dansk is having a good year. Uh, there's a 2 nothing win there. When we get wins, we blow te we blow teams out. When we lose, we either lose by one game or get blown out. Uh, yeah, see, three to one. Games that we lose, it seems like we can't score goals. I've I've noticed I've seen that as a thing. It's not like we're losing like four to three or something like that. Games that we're losing, yeah, see, games that we're losing, we can't score goals. That was overtime, but uh, nonetheless. And this game against the New York Rangers, six to three. All right, so uh, pretty shitty stretch there. I mean, we had a nice little four four game winning streak, winning like uh, six of I think five or six of like eight, and then uh, lost three in a row there. So nine, eleven, nine and one after the first two months here. So save percentage, uh, Bobrovsky's in seventh, goals against average. He's in fourth with a two point oh. All right, point totals. Uh, nobody up there for points, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, nobody's up there for points. Wins, uh, nobody's up there for wins either. Goals, uh, are we up there? Danny Cristo has 11 goals and Patrick Kane has 10 goals. So they're both up there. Assists, uh, nobody up there for apples either. So the Atlantic's looking like that. Metropolitan, we are in third in the Metro, uh, with one point over Pittsburgh and Jersey. So it's still very early on in the year. We can obviously catch guys like the Rangers and Carolina. So, and the West is looking like that. All right, so let's check out uh, big old Stats Central here. See how everything's doing. So we are the 14th team in the NHL right now. Uh, goals four per game, 2.43. Interesting. We're not apparently scoring goals. It's weird. It's probably those past couple games that really haven't got us any goals. So I still want us to be up near three. So hopefully we can get up there. 
But 20th in the league for goals for, not great. Goals against, we're still doing good, 2.14. So the defense and the goaltending are definitely doing their job. Uh, power play, we're at 18.8%, 7th. So it's top 10. And the penalty kill is at 92.3%. That is an insanely good penalty kill. We've only been... We've only been shorthanded 39 times so far. So we're the least amount of team. Like, look at us. Columbus and Calgary were the two most disciplined teams in the NHL, and our penalty kills are freaking outstanding. So 92.3% is, is insanely good, guys. How many times have we been on the power play? 85, sixth most in the league. So it's not bad, I guess, for seventh. Uh, home, we're 7-5-1 away, 4-4. Four, four, and uh, last 10, 4-5-1. So I think we just need to kickstart the goal scoring. Kickstart the offense a little bit, get some more goals, and uh, just got to score some more goals, and then we should be good. So maybe some line adjustments. Maybe Carroll's not working well with McDavid and Sprong. We could take a whole big look at that. So here we go. Forward, why? So Tyler Toffoli is leading our team in points with 16 points in 22 games, uh, four goals, 12 assists for him. Danny Cristo with 16 points, 11 goals so far. Patrick Kane has 14, 10 goals for him. Um... Five power play goals. Uh, Crystal with four power play goals. Uh, Cody Hodgson with 14 points in uh, 14 and 21, 13 assists. Ryan Johansson also with 13 uh, points. Daniel Sprung has 11 points, so he's not doing too bad. First line power play. Uh, he only has one power play goal, so he has seven, uh, four, only four goals so far. Uh, Backlund only six points, and McDavid only six points. So Michael Backlund only six points on the second line center position. So. And remember, he doesn't have power play time, so he's not going to be getting the goals on the power play. That's what Hodgson and them are there for. So he only has six, regula six regulation points, five on five time. So remember that. Uh, McDavid, six points, six assists for him. Austin Carroll, only five. Um, Tantorell with two. Dubinsky with two. Tambellini with two. So maybe... I mean, the third line is who's that? Sprong? Sprong's doing good, but then again, he... Well, it's, it's not like he's having... Well, he could be getting assists from the power play. So that could be something there. Maybe we'll check out progress reports as well. So there's the forward-wise. Nobody's a point-of-game player, but we got like a bunch of the second liners that I want to get points are getting are getting some good point totals, like I said. Weird that Backland only has six points, but maybe a lot of our goals are on power play. Who knows? Defensively, uh, Honka with 10, Murray with 9, Savard with 6, Johnson with five, uh, 4, Erickson with three, DeKaiser with two, and then goaltending. Uh, Barowski nine and seven with a two point oh. Danson two and two with a two point six. Uh, save percentage, three shutouts for Bob. Yeah, so I think we just need to score more goals. I honestly think that's what we do, just need to do is score more goals. And uh, AHL team is doing fine. So there we go. After the first month, we're eleven nine and one. Uh, maybe I'll do some minor line adjustments there. Uh, just fix some things around. Long ass video this one, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always, and we'll probably get to the trade deadline in the next video. <laughs>